Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Dumbass, don't do it. Okay. Oh, hey, look, it's Little Red Riding Hood. Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Star Wars Black Series figure and it's from The Last Jedi. It's the Elite Praetorian Guard and I'm super excited about this. One of my favorite parts of that movie which was pretty much a letdown for me. Uh, I just thought it was too jokey and too many shark jumps. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Um, but this was definitely one of the better parts of the film and I was excited to get this figure. Unfortunately, on Force Friday, they did not release this guy by himself. Um, the only time I've seen this uh, figure was in the giant uh, box set at Think Geek and GameStop with all the other guards, and I just didn't want to pay the $80 for that, so I'm real excited for this uh, figure. I gotta go back and get the Imperial Guard now to go with this guy uh, from Return of the Jedi. I think they will look very cool sitting side by side. But this dude looks very samurai-like to me and uh, just looks like a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Elite Praetorian Guard in the packaging. And there's a lot of red going on here, guys. I'm not going to lie. So Star Wars The Black Series, he is from The Last Jedi. And then uh, we get the artwork down there, which is kind of cool. There he is in red. The background is red. His staff is red. There's lots of red. Um, there's nothing on the top there. On the side of the package, it says he is a figure number 50. Uh, this side, it says Elite Praetorian Guard, and it says Praetor right there, looking kind of cool. So, yeah, Star Wars The Black Series. There he is. Dun, 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 dun. I like that artwork. I think that looks cool. And then Praetor on the side, uh, which is pretty neat. Back of the package, we get the same artwork there. It says Elite Praetorian Guard. It has a little tiny write-up, and he's still number 50. So, if there's the artwork. If you want to read this... Ding. You may pause and do so right now. And that's pretty much it for the packaging on this guy. Let's go ahead and get the Praetorian Guard out of package and see what we think. So here we have the Praetorian Guard out of the packaging. And for the most part, I really like this figure, but there are some really bothersome things about it. I definitely think it's pretty cool as far as the design goes. It's a, an updated Imperial Guard is what it is. Let's not kid ourselves. But it's a nice little uh, homage to the original fi uh, character, I guess. Not the figure, but the original character uh, with an updated, more kind of samurai look. The sculpt on this figure is done really well, and I would say the paint is, but it's really just a bunch of red plastic. Um, there is some black here and there, which kind of breaks it up, and I, the color scheme is awesome. Um, I like the design of the little staff, but it's just a little bit short. And I gotta go back and watch the movie again, uh, because I swear that this staff was a little bit longer. Um, and the biggest problem I have with the figure are the armor pieces on the arms. They're these really weird little, like, circlets that go around the arms, and, uh, well, you can't bend the elbows. There's no way to bend the elbows in this design which is uh, very, very unfortunate, and getting him into a pose with this staff is very, very difficult. The only other real problem I had with the figure were the hands. The, they were gripped way too tight, and I had to physically pull them open to get the hands to hold the actual staff, uh, which was kind of strange, and I had the same problem with the DC Multiverse figure over the weekend as well, uh, which is unusual considering those are two different manufacturers with the same exact problem. Now, with the gripes out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at articulation on this figure. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, can we get this, now I can get the staff out of his hands. Urgh. Come on, let go. Let go. Let go. 
give it up. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we'll just leave it into the one hand there. All right, so um, articulation. The head can look really, really far down, which is nice. Um, he can look really far forward, which is very good. He can spin his head all the way around, which I don't know why he would want to. He's got a diaphragm joint up at the top of the chest there. His arms can come out all the way. They go up. You can knock the, the armor piece off. It's just a little uh, ball and socket joint that sits onto the shoulder. Arr, pop that back on there. Um, his elbows twist um, like that. And he's out so of focus. Yes. The arm goes up, goes all the way around. The elbow has a twist, but you can't bend it very well because of this um, armor, which is kind of annoying. His hands also twist, and they are on a hinge joint, uh, which is nice. Uh, let's see here. There is um, no... Is there a twist at the waist? It's kind of hard to tell. No, there's no twist at the waist because he's got the diaphragm. His uh, legs kick up, oh, about that far. They kick back pretty well. He has a double-jointed knee, which is nice. The uh, plate uh, there on his knee does not get in the way. Ooh, up the skirt. <laughs> um, nice pliable skirt, doesn't uh, hamper any of the articulation. There is no um, swivel at the top of the boot. Uh, his legs kick out pretty far. They kick out about that far. He's got a hinge joint on his uh, foot, and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. Like a little rose petal, isn't he pretty? So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I do like the sculpt and design of this figure. It has a very samurai look. It's basically all red plastic. There is one little black dot on the chest, which is kind of cool. And then he's got some black on his legs and there's some silver paint apps on the weapon. But the armor is very cool. It's very samurai-like. Even the little ringlet armor pieces on the arms, those do look cool, but it hampers articulation, which is a bummer. Uh, we've got some nice sculpted detail work on the back overall. I mean, you can't really go wrong with an all red armor plated badass guard. I mean, the guy does look cool, and I have to admit, they were pretty cool in the movie, um, and it's one of the better parts of the movie, to be honest. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, all the sculpt work on the armor plates are very nice. We get the silver paint apps on the weapon. The weapon itself looks cool. I wish it was a little bit longer so that he could hold it a little bit better in the hands. And I wish we had more elbow movement in the hands. Everything else is just a blatant red. Uh, we can see the black on his uh, legs under the skirt. The texture on the skirt is sculpted very well. It looks like cloth. It's got a nice kind of uh, very heavy... Uh, uh, cottonish kind of feel to it, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, but again, it's just a lot of red. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, he's got his skirt dress thing that goes all the way down. There is some black that lines the bottom of his boots down there, which is very cool. Uh, the boots, of course, also red. Uh, again, very well sculpted. It looks nice. Um, the skirt uh, is got the large, long plates on them. Uh, very, very cool, but they don't hamper um, articulation with the legs, which is very nice. I do appreciate that, and uh, I like how they pleat out a little bit so you can at least see the black underneath the red skirt. For comparison, here we have the elite Praetorian Guard with his boss, Supreme Leader Snoke, and the Force Spirit, Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, the Walgreens exclusive, and the Pop BB-9E droid. And I just threw the droid in here because, well, I want a Black Series version of him. I was upset we did not get uh, enough screen time of this droid in the movie. They kind of set up like they were going to get a face-off with BB-8 and BB-9E, and we never did. And that's very, very sad, but yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he's definitely a lot shorter than Snoke here. He's... Well, about the same height as Obi-Wan. Um, I'm going to have to get an Imperial Guard and compare the two to see how they stand side by side. Um, which, if you get the Think Geek box set or the GameStop box set, you can have all those Guardy-type guys in there. Won't that be nice? Hmm. 
So is the elite Praetorian Guard uh, from the First Order, Star Wars The Last Jedi, something that you want in your Star Wars collection? I'm going to say yes. If you like uh, the Imperial type bad guys, this is definitely one to get. They were very cool in the movie. Uh, one of the few bright points in the movie for me. Um, I definitely thought they were cool. We never got to see the Imperial Guard do anything but just stand there in Return of the Jedi. So it was very cool to see these guys actually get into some action, uh, which is almost why I think they even had that scene, <laughs> is because the director wanted to see the Imperial Guard do something, and, uh, well, we definitely get that. Um, it does have its faults, though, especially in the elbows. I think that's the worst part. Those ringlet armor pieces down the arms just don't let the elbows do anything, and therefore you can't get a lot of really dynamic poses in it, which kind of defeats the purpose of the scene in the movie. Urgh. But it's definitely very cool. There are two ways to get this. You can find it in the wild in the single uh, box like this here, which this is the only one I've ever seen out in the wild. And then uh, you can also get the uh, Think Geek slash GameStop exclusive set that had all the different guard sets in it. It's like 80 bucks, um, which is not a bad price considering all the figures that you get in it. Uh, but it's definitely a figure, if you see it by itself out in the wild, I would pick it up because it is a short-cased uh, figure. And uh, it is cool. It definitely is. It's all red, but he's kind of a badass in the movie. So there he is, the elite Praetorian Guard from the First Order in Star Wars The Last Jedi from Hasbro in the Black Series. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.